Hello everybody, I'm Blaze Rebecca, and welcome back to Lads in Distress with uh, Prince Snow's route. So we were trying to find uh, this uh, person who knows magic and stuff to try and help, but apparently Prince Snow has been there before and I think that he's killed someone close to him. I don't know the story behind that, but I have been able to find out. The curse doesn't really affect my daily life aside from the fact that I must re refrain from kissing the women I'm involved with. <laughs> Great! Well, except for the fact that I can't stand mirrors. This is why I don't have mirrors in my house, in case you were wondering. I will likely shudder and run away screaming like a little girl. <laughs> I was in eyebrow and interest successfully distracted. Seriously? Why? I would have thought you would, be, would even be vain about your, your looks and stare in the mirror all day. Snow shoots me a playful glare, causing me to laugh. I may be vain, but not that vain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. Did I not mention this before, though? I don't. The curse was in the mirror. My stepmother cursed the mirror, and I accidentally broke it. That triggered the curse. Oh! Now I can't stand the same mirrors without feeling fear. It's rather silly, I know. Okay, so apparently the mirror is the 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 cause of the triggering of the curse. Well, wait, now hold on. How do you break a mirror like that and then, like, what's the story behind that? A cursed mirror? I started shaking my head slowly, my feet stopping. Snow looks around when I come to halt, questioning my confusion. No. Snow, you're saying it was a cursed mirror that gave you such a curse? Yes, why? Are you absolutely certain? Yes, I am. My stepmother came to gloat after hearing about the broken mirror, informed me about the effects of the curse and how much effort she went to just figure out a way to curse me without directly casting it on me at the risk of raising suspicion. <clears throat> Who is your stepmother? Why are you suddenly asking me this? Um, yeah, like why? Just answer me, please. Queen Anne. Previously Lady Faye before she married my father. I racked my brain for the information I know is buried in my head, confirming my suspicions. Snow! I stared at him, the realization hitting me like a ton of bricks. Snow, curses can't be put on inanimate objects. Magic doesn't work that way. There was never a real curse. Snow staggers backwards, releasing my hand in shock. When he speaks, his voice is barely above a whisper. Wait, what? <clears throat> what? Okay, I'm confused myself. <clears throat> I grab his hand again, squeezing to offer reassurance. I doubt your stepmother can even practice magic. She was married to Lord Fay, who is not but a lowly noble, known for his gambling habits and bankruptcy. He would never have been able to afford magic lessons for himself, let alone for his wife. She wouldn't be able to have learned something as complex as curses. Wait, does that mean that he doesn't have a curse on him then? That she was just bullshitting him? Inexplicably, a slow smile sprang on Snow's face as he starts shaking his head. No, you must be mistaken, Charming. I've seen it work. The curse does work. I saw it happen in front of me. Now it's my turn to be stunned by the revelation. Revelation. What? The pieces of, puzzle of the puzzle finally clicked together in my mind. This is the woman Snow watched die before his eyes. She died in his arms after he kissed her. This is why Snow is so, so convinced that the curse is real. But the truth is that there was, ne was never a curse. Oh! Oh, that makes so much more sense now! Very likely, his stepmother orchestrated the whole death. So, she made him believe that his lips were cursed with something that came from a mirror. And she just made him blindly believe that she had cursed him like that. What the fuck? Like, pardon my language, but seriously. After all, didn't Snow say he suspects that she was behind his father's continuous illnesses? I don't doubt that she would have gone to such lengths for her goal. Goal. 
It's my fault for withholding the last, this last detail. It is a painful memory I'd rather not revisit. But I understand. I must get to give you a fuller understanding under, of the curse. Come, let's go home first. This isn't the appropriate place for a conversation. Snow grabs my hand again and starts leading us out of the forest. My mind is still spinning, putting all the information and details together in my head. I let him. I must tell him all this later. Then he will have no choice but to believe me. Oh, I swear to God, if that's really the case, I am going to destroy that woman. Snow sticks next to me, handing me a cup of tea politely. Aw, thank you. Oh, <laughs> yep, thank you. <laughs> A minute passes in silence as we both try to collect our thoughts, sipping at our tea. Shall I start? Please do. Snow sighs, opening and closing his mouth a few times while searching for the right words. Well, there isn't. There really isn't very much to tell. I doubt it. Please tell. You will probably be not be disappointed. It's really not as interesting as it seems, since you already know what the curse is. Sure I do, but just please tell me already. Long story short, I don't I didn't believe my stepmother when she informed me about the curse she had cast. My lover at the time visited me the day after. I kissed her. Next thing I knew she collapsed clutching at her chest. Kyle Kyle Kylie died in my arms. Kaylee? So that is the story of how I discovered my stepmother is a witch. I blink at him after he finishes telling the story in a monotone. Heavens! Only you can make such an exciting tale, strange tale sound so anticlimactic. Snow flashed to me a wry smile. Well, as you can probably imagine, I'm not very fond of telling a story. I try not to think about this at all. Feeling a stab of guilt, I immediately apologize. That was really insensitive of me, wasn't it? I can't imagine how much pain and guilt, unnecessary guilt, he must have felt over her death. Do you mind if I ask a few questions still? No, it's fine. I owe you a full explanation. What happened after? Surely her death must have been discovered. It should have been one of the most exciting pieces of gossip of the year, especially considering her involvement with you. You have never heard a single word of this incident at all. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I was lucky. It took my father a whole great deal, a great deal of effort and gold to keep the investigation quiet. In the end, it was determined that she died of natural causes. A sudden heart failure, I believe. So I was never arrested or anything. Well, I don't know, considering that the curse wasn't you, that you were cursed and the curse isn't your fault, can you really get arrested for that? I don't know, that seems kind of unfair. But my stomach and I both knew the true reason. I caused her death and it has haunted me since. I may vow to myself that one day I will never get romantically involved with anyone again. The painful expression on Snow's face cuts me to the core. My hand seems to have a mind of its own and reaches out, taking his hand in mine. Oof. Oh, how long has he been carrying this burden all around alone? He must have been very much in love with her. <laughs> Snow looks shocked, then pensive at my remark. Actually, no, I don't think so. I was devastated and suffocated from guilt at her death, but I didn't feel the soul-crushing pain that I should have felt if I were in love with her. Still, I will never forgive myself for her death. Which is why we must break this curse so we can never I can never risk anyone else again. Then I don't understand. You closed your heart off because of the danger of your curse, yet you have countless affairs since. Why? I Snow seems to be at a loss for words at my question. Well, I don't blame him. Finally, he bows his head, in shame perhaps. Am I selfish by taking lovers one after another for companionship anyway? Yes, I know I am. But I told myself as long as I understood the boundaries, no harm will come to them. I just cannot risk falling in love. With love comes the desire to, for more intimacy. I cannot bear the thought of accidentally causing my beloved's death by losing myself in the moment and kissing her. I'm a selfish person. I'm sorry. I can't say I agree with your behavior, but I understand. 
And I think I know how to cure your loneliness once and for all. Oh god. So, do you trust me? Of course. There's nobody else in the world I can trust except you. Then believe me when I say that there was never a real curse. Snowstark shaking his head. No. Charming. Didn't you hear what I just told you? I saw her die run in front of my very eyes. The curse is very much real, unfortunately. Um, yeah, there's a chance that your stepmother may have orchestrated that, so, um, it's not entirely your fault. No, it's not. I know more about magic than you ever will. Curses do not work on inanimate objects. It's not possible because objects don't have a soul for you to curse. I'm not trying to imply that your knowledge in magic is lacking, but how do you explain Ka Kaylee's death then? Um, orchestrated? What if you weren't the reason for her death? What if your stepmother poisoned her? Wh what? Snow looks so shocked that I can tell the thought has never occurred to him before. Is it really that far-fetched? In fact, try to put yourself out of the situation for a moment. As an objective bystander observing the situation, which explanation do you think sounds more plausible? Your stepmother poisoning your paramour for her ambition, or a curse cast on a mirror that transferred onto you when you broke, causing whoever you kissed three times to immediately die? Both know your stepmother would do whatever is necessary to bring you down. Snow seems to waver, hesitating at my speech. There seems to be a glimmer of desperate hope in his eyes, as though he longs to believe me, but can't seem to bring himself to do so. Well, not surprising. Like, I mean, we don't really know that for sure. But, I, I guess... I guess curses can't work on inanimate objects, I guess. What can I do to convince him? Uh, <laughs> um... Kiss me three times, I'll prove it to you. I don't know, that seems, uh... Uh, I feel like this would be more plausible to say. But I want to see if it would work. Oh, uh, you know what? I saved. I'm going to go with this one. <clears throat> I know you wouldn't lie to me, but what if you are honestly mistaken? I'm never wrong. If you dare say I'm wrong, I'll destroy you. <laughs> but Snow's protest trail office he stares at my determined expression. It's hard, hard for me to wrap my mind around this, you know. I do want to believe you. Of course I do. This curse has haunted my life for the last four years. Unable to resist, I wrap my arms around him to comfort him. He quickly recovers from the shock, his, and his readiness melts away as he holds me in his arms. Believe me, Snow. I've seen your stepmother before. <laughs> Wait, you have? I wasn't able to recall exactly who she was, but now that you told me her name and who she was married to, I remember me her at a royal ball before. I've always felt that someone has magical abilities, but I didn't feel anything. She doesn't have an ounce of magical blood in her. She's as mundane as one can be. Ah! I trust my judgment. I'm absolutely certain about this. Not a single doubt in my mind. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, I think there would be a every reason to trust her, because, like, it's, uh, well, she's the main character, for God's sake. Alright, let's assume for the moment that your hypothesis is correct. Then why? If the curse was merely a facade, why did she do this? What was the point of this performance? Obviously so she can take the throne for herself. Your stepmother was playing mind games with you, and she won. She wanted to give you an incentive to act out, to drown out your sorrow and guilt by perhaps turning to alcohol or women, especially considering your natural appreciation for beautiful ladies. <laughs> I would think she hoped your bad behavior would be enough for the king to strip you of the position of heir. As you said, she wants her son to become king. You are standing in her way. Really is as simple as that. Yeah, it's a simple thing like, like if you can't kill him or anything like that, then find a way to get him out of the picture. It still doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense! You're just not getting it! She could've just poisoned me like, just like she killed Kaylee. Instead of going to all this trouble. Now that is probably much more direct, and her plans would come to fruition faster as well. She probably wanted to make you miserable. 
Surprised at the perceptive question, I am with new appreciation. Yes, you're right. But think about it. Is directness necessarily a good thing in this situation? Does the death of an unknown girl or the death of a crown prince draw more attention than suspicion? Why does she have to risk why does she have to risk it when she could just as easily get you out of the way? It's not as though her son could become king yet for another four years. She had plenty of time in the world. It all fits together perfectly, doesn't it? Finally growing out of ways to challenge my theory, I watched the snow's expression slowly transform from hesitance into one of raw delight and relief. So I'm not cursed? Yeah, she just wanted to bullshit you. At my firm nod, Snow shakes his head, half in disbelief. Well, I probably wouldn't believe it either. <laughs> I didn't kill Kaylee. Uh, yeah, but you saw her dying from your eyes. I would still be kind of traumatizing. It wasn't my fault. All this time I blame myself, but it wasn't my fault she died. I... Snow turns away as though trying to get his overwhelming emotions under control. Uh, yeah, yeah, calm down. As I go here and save, and I'll be back with more. See ya!